Hello and welcome back to Command & Conquer Tiberian Dawn for the first of three Nod Mission 6. So we are down in the Western Africa. You see that there is a uh, four GDI countries, or five GDI countries now, that are isolated from the main bulk of their forces to the south. We are going to go into each one of these in succession. We're going to start on the West End and then gradually move east. So we'll do this country first. This is Ivory Coast, population 13 million. Uh, capital, I'm not even going to try and say. Government corruptibility, 28%. Net, net worth, 10 billion. Point of conflict, Abidjan. Uh, military strength, reasonable. Military resistance, 67%. So this is going to be a guerrilla mission. I was starting to trust you. But now Kane has asked for your services specifically. He thinks you can handle this. GDI has imported a nuclear detonator, and Kane's intelligence shows it hasn't even been unpacked yet. Since you seem so brilliant, sneak into the GDI base with a small task force, find the crate, and get out, if you can. And if you're lucky, I'll have a helicopter waiting for you. Our success in the previous mission then has got the attention of Kane, and uh, Seth really doesn't like that. We are the new favourite, uh, so he's sending us on increasingly difficult missions in the hopes that we might fail one, and he'll become the favourite again. Let's check our briefing. GDI has imported a nuclear detonator in an attempt to sway a few local political leaders. Penetrate the base and steal the detonator. A chopper will be sent to meet you at a designated landing zone. Look for the landing flare once you have stolen the device. Uh, so you can see our units are divided into two different uh, groups here. On the right hand side I've got a tank, a recon bike, two infantry and two rockets. On the left I've got two tanks, a buggy, four infantry and four rockets. They're on two different paths so they can't uh, regroup uh, until the very end of this mission. What I'm going to do is send yes, this sir. tank yes. south first. And these guys right are going to be a separate group. They're going to be group Vehicle one. Reporting. I'm going to yes, move sir. these guys Moving along out. here. Yes, well, this guy tries to deal with the grenadiers that are going to come Moving from out. down south. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Moving out. Both groups go for that tank now. I don't want to lose that tank. I definitely don't want to lose these guys by standing too close. Come on, get that tank. As long as he's shooting that rocket guy, I'm good. Right. I took a wee bit of damage on that tank, which is not ideal, but we're still good. You're in enemy group two. Out. Again, there's another tank down here. I don't want to have my infantry Perfect. run in. I'd rather they just sat there and took damage. Because your infantry, when they're prone, they actually take less damage. I beg your pardon. What? Yes, that tank just squished my recon bike. I didn't even know that was possible. I knew mammoth tanks yes, could crush light units. Since when is that a thing that can happen? Did the game just bug out there? Anyway, whatever. We've got one more unit to take care of on the right hand side, so let's do that quickly. Have the tank go forwards first here. Take some damage. Meanwhile, these guys are going to move into one group. They're going to be my anti infantry, and these guys are going to be my anti tank. These guys are also going to be there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Reporting. Moving out. Let's go north here. Moving out. Not north. You can Moving see, actually, out. I can see the corner of their construction yard. I can alert every Moving unit out. in the map by targeting that thing. And Moving one out. strategy might be to shoot at that. And when they're all trying to get to these guys, uh, yes, you can. Yes, Moving out. Close. Waiting you got it. you can uh, got it. send these guys to sneak into their base. But uh, that's not really a good way of dealing with it. Now, these guys are going to go south again. What number are they? Three? Okay. Yes, Three is going south. I want to run down their infantry again. Moving just like we did Vehicle before. Yeah. Ah! There are the grenadiers. Okay, so that was yes, well done there. Oh, wow, Unit what? Yes, what are these guys doing here? This is not ideal at all. No, do not stand that close. Unit 
Go for the yes, tank. Sir. Yes, sir. Everyone go for them. Yes, wait, wait. Moving out. I can't believe I lost a tank there. Yes, I have no idea why they were there. Never mind, they're dealt with now. Uh, yes, sir. Quick, deal with them. Yes, sir. And download the infantry. No, no, not the anti-infantry. Yes, yes, sir. Who did I lose there? I lost one rifleman, that's fine. And what I want to do up here... That should be everyone that's coming. You will soon see this is going to get the attention of the GBI forces by destroying this. Did I already shoot a civilian? I wonder what... That's why the tanks came along. I could just see it moving in the shroud here. Here they comes. Must have seen something else moving in the shroud. Get this thing. Come on. Moving out. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Sooner I quick it, the less infantry that's going to come out. Right. That's as much use as these guys can be for me for now. I will sneak them across here, but this is so close to death because I took a lot of shots earlier on that uh, it's going to get destroyed as soon as it goes into the space. I'm not going to be able to use it as I wanted. These guys, I'm going to leave here, except for this tank, which I'm now going to head south with. Yeah, I'm going to keep destroying that base. They can actually regroup. Why not? Regroup two. No, not regroup three. This guy. So, I've taken care of one side of the cliff. I need to now clear the uh, south side. The best way to do that is with a single tank. Like this. Okay. You can now regroup with that lot. These guys are going to keep destroying that village while this guy moves around. I can't believe that recon bike got squished. Just keep destroying that village, why not? Move along now. I'm a bit worried about tanks. I think there's another tank somewhere. I don't want him to crush my infantry. There's definitely another tank somewhere. Moving out. Moving out. Affirmative. Moving out. Now I'm getting towards the entrance to their base here. I don't want my infantry to go forwards first, but they do need to be a part of this battle. So I'm going to send my vehicles into a separate group. These guys are now going to be... Uh-oh. Okay. That was very unexpected there. No, that's the opposite of what I wanted to do. I wanted these guys to go in first get the attention of their turret. So the GDI turrets in this game, remember, are primarily anti-infantry. Uh, right. I'm moving quick. Need the rocket guys in there as quick as I can now. Oh my god, this is a lot of infantry. Come on. Get that tank. Don't go under there. Not the rocket guys. Oh, that was my one chance at victory here. There's a buggy went up north, didn't it? Where's he gone? Do I risk losing the tank? No, I don't risk the tank. I risk the buggy. Someone went up here. I'm sure of it. Okay, he's trying to get these guys, so that's fine by us. Now, go along here. I think there might be one more tank, though, and I lost too, I lost too many guys there to that random tank. Squished them all. I don't have enough to 
deal with this other turret here. Do I rush in? I know what I do. Okay, I'm going to try and get their attention sneaking this way. And then if I can just blow a hole in the wall, I can get my buggy to complete the mission. I think this is probably the hardest. God, yeah, I forget. Tanks can't fire anything close to them. They are useless. Right, let's go. I just have to hope for the best here. I might lose both these guys in an instant. But I can't regroup. Where's their other tank? Right, what I'm doing here is clearing out the chain link fence around the objective. Very carefully, there's my objective at the end. Or well, there's my extraction point, rather. Where is their other tank? Did I kill two tanks? Right, I'm gonna run for this and just gonna hope for the best now. That is the worst way that could possibly begin. <laughs> I don't know where their final tank is. This single rocket guy is going to have to complete this mission for me. I think the tank is going to be like right here. Oh, is this it? There's something right there. Enemy vehicle. Okay, so there's their tank. Let's get to here. These guys, I'm just going to hang back. I don't want to lose anyone. I can't, I've got nothing to gain by... Uh, going for another kill here, because I will lose these guys. The Humvee will kill that guy. The tank will kill both of these vehicles. It's full health and I've got two essentially dead tanks and one rocket guy. Reinforcements have arrived. Well that's unexpected. What is it? Oh it's going to be the Chinook isn't it? So this plays out quite a bit like uh, Mission 3. Mission accomplished. Here we are then, our score. We don't have an end cutscene there. 100% efficiency. 13% leadership, a lot of casualties. Uh, it's a very challenging mission, that one, just because the way it's laid out. We are way outgunned. How many tanks did we kill there? Well, I, th I think we killed five tanks. We only had three tanks to begin with, uh, and there was a hell of a lot of grenadiers, so our rocket guys were dying left, right, and center. Um, but, challenging mission. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow at 1 o'clock uh, for the second of three Nod Mission 6s.